Why did you decide to, to start with developing dynamic structural equation modeling? Researchers, substantive researchers in psychology, for instance, mm -hmm. have been ahead of the curve of what methodologists and statisticians like I can provide. Yeah. And the software that's been available, the statistical analysis software, has been very difficult to apply. Uh, very specialized programs that it takes a statistician to, or an advanced statistician to, to use in the correct way. Mm -hmm. And psychologists, although they try to understand methodology, statistical methodology, don't really have the time to invest in learning that much that those software pieces need. So we felt that um, there was a problem in the, both the literature and in the software world, yeah. too difficult to penetrate, too technical, and really, there was a problem that could be turned into an opportunity for us because we, we want to provide user-friendly and very general analysis tools. So there was really a big opening for us. Yeah. And now, after a couple of years, we've just launched the new version 8 of our program. Yeah, finally, that's, that's really good news. And I'm so happy that it's already out there. Um, but what do you think is now going to change with version 8? Well, I, I really think that um, all these individuals who had the data mm -hmm. and not knowing what to do with them can now really start to uh, formulate new uh, research questions yeah. and hope to be able to answer them in a good way. Mm -hmm. So I, I foresee that uh, there's going to be an increase in the literature, mm -hmm. research papers can get published, and more and more individuals are therefore going to get inspired to collect the data and be able to learn um, uh, from what the analysis show in a yeah. much deeper way than have ever been before. So it's an interesting paradigm shift mm -hmm. that we're very excited to be part of helping out with that. Yeah, and, and what is the future in terms of, of, of research questions? What kind of different research questions can now be answered? With I think uh, many more along the lines of um, what um, the methodologists call dynamic questions, mm -hmm. processes that uh, develop over short periods of time. Yeah. So issues of causality can be better addressed. What causes what? That by looking at what happens before something else. Yeah. So that uh, dynamic process um, angle is what I think mm. people are going to understand the, the, the uh, importance of having this new methodology to tackle that. Okay, cool. And version 8 has just been released? That's right, yeah. What's going to be the future? What, version 8.1, version 9? Well, it took us a while to release version 8 um, because we wanted to make it very user-friendly from the get-go. Mm -hmm. um, but now when we start using it ourselves and others are starting to use it and we get feedback, we see so many development areas mm -hmm. to make it better, more general, uh, co covering more kinds of research yep. uh, problems and also faster and with more um, descriptive uh, output yeah. to, to really visualize your data and, and get the most out of it. So there will be 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, <laughs> until it's time to delve into a totally new yeah. area, a new paradigm, yep. which could be something totally different than this. Yeah. But I think for a couple of years now, we'll probably focus on this. And today we have the, the 8M Plus users meeting. Are you looking forward to it? I am, because I look forward to the afternoon in particular, where they have the, uh, the early adapters, the early adapters mm -hmm. yes, who um, will, uh, for me, put it into their research context, their substantive yeah. research context, mostly in psychology, I assume, today. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd like to hear what their, what their concerns are and what their future needs are. So I'm going to sit in the back and listen and take notes and see what's going to be in 8.1, yeah, yeah. what should have the highest priority. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here. Okay.